All right, people, how you doing? This is this is your boy Oscar. This is BTV Nation. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, today, <coughs> I brought a Marcus Roger made of I made a video, you know, and he said the title said, "I was saying if you celebrate Christmas, you're gonna go to hell." You know. You know what I mean? I thought I thought he I thought he was going to 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 speak the truth. You know what I mean about Christmas? About I thought he I thought I thought he he's about I know say he yeah he's about to expose Christmas. You know what I said that's what I thought. I was like okay. You know what I said but Roger's about to expose Christmas and open the eyes of the church about this so-called Christmas, right? But I was surprised when he even though he acknowledged hmm? he acknowledged that Christmas. It's a pagan holiday. He acknowledged that. He acknowledged that Christmas have a pagan root. He acknowledged that. But yet he said it's it's not about a pagan root. It's about your heart. It's about your heart. If God is in your heart, that's what matters. Christmas tree is just for decoration. But um, but um, uh, 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 but um, Marcus Roger, you don't know me, I don't know you. Okay, I like your videos, but this one. Bro, you are wrong, okay? And uh, before you uh, and before you talk about Christmas, because listen, people listen to you. Hmm? There's a lot of Christians that pay attention to you right now. Your message, your message will save somebody's life, will save somebody from hell, or your message will take somebody to hell. That's what it is. So before before you before you come out. To talk about Christmas or something, you ask the Holy Spirit first. Go to God first. Ask God. Communicate with the communicate with the Father. Ask ask Him. He's gonna tell you if Christmas indeed is of Him or not. There are things in the Bible that God Himself chose. Why? Why, why, why Christians are not celebrating the, the, those feasts? Though? The feast of Tabernacle, the feast of Tomen, um, uh, the days of Pentecost, the Sabbath, you know, all these feasts. If you celebrate this feast, bro, I'm good because God Himself was the one that put this feast. If we, if we go to heaven, there'll be no Christmas to celebrate in heaven. The feast you're gonna celebrate in heaven are the feast of tabernacle, the feast of seven uh, seven level bread, the feast of um, the torment. Those those type of feasts in the Bible. These are the feasts that we are going to celebrate in heaven. Besides those feasts, every other feast is unknown to God. I don't care if it's Easter Sunday. I don't care whatever whatever feast it is. It's unknown to God. God don't care about this feast. God only care about feasts that He Himself appointed, simple and direct. So now, so so now, bro, bro Marcus agreed that Christmas have a little pig. Uh, he said somehow have a pig root, bro, bro. Christmas does not have a somehow crisp uh, pig root. Everything about Christmas is pagan. If you don't know, and I'm telling you right now, everything about Christmas is pagan. You can do Google. That's what we got Google, bro. You can you can go on Google. You don't believe me? You can go on Google. Google Christmas. The foundation of Christmas is pagan. The roof of pig, uh, Christmas is pagan. The house of the house and everything inside is pagan. If you don't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Everything about Christmas is paganism. No doubt. This is the word of God. You know. I, I can go on and on. I can give you scriptures. I can give you the book of Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 12 to verse 15. Do you know what he said? It talked about the feast of man. Even though that message, that time Isaiah was giving this message to the Israelis because they left the ways of God. They were brought in unknown feasts. They're making the people to celebrate unknown feasts. The feast day of sin appointed. That's what Jesus said to the Pharisee. You change the word of God into man-made tradition, to your tradition. You change the, the, the ways of God, the things of God, into your tradition. Woe unto you. 
That's why that's that's why the Pharisees and the Sadducees they hated Jesus Christ because 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 he condemned them by by switching by changing the ways of God and brought in another and another practice that is not of God and 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 another another tradition. So Christmas is a tradition. Christmas is the same thing too. Because Christmas Christmas. Now the, the difference between are, are those those Pharisees what the day and Christmas. This is the difference, right? D they they took different different uh, uh, different feasts for uh, for the neighbors country and brought uh, and brought it in in into the celebration of the feast of God, right? But Christmas is not is is it's not like that. Christmas is opposite, okay? Christmas is. Christmas, they brought God into a different feast. That's what it is. That's what it is. They brought God into a different feast. Which me, which me, all the day was they changed the name. They changed the name of the feast to Christmas. And they changed the name of the God to Jesus Christ, simple and direct. Okay? All the day when they change their name, the first original name for this feast is, is, is Soi Invitus. S O L I N V I C T U S. That's its name. Okay? Or you can call it Sandalia. The celebration of Sandalia starts from, uh, I think, December, uh, December 20, uh, 23 to the 26th. The new moon, huh? the new moon, the, the Rome new moon feast. This, this, this feast is called Rome new moon feast. Okay, it got so invitus, they got Sandalia. Sandalia started before so invitus. Okay, and guess what? The Rome God, Mafra, was born December 25th. So, you, so, uh, so do you think these people coincidentally? Pick December 25th because they want to pick it. It's just another day. Now, bro. Now, bro. Rome don't do nothing for nothing. Even know what Rome is. Rome did not do nothing for nothing. Rome knew the empire is being destroyed. Rome knew they are 40. So for Rome to re-establish itself and to join, and to, it's, it's to join Christianity. That's why you we have Rome, Rome, our uh, Roman Catholic Church. They join Christianity. Why? Because they want to reinvent themselves, re-establish themselves. And this and, and, and they pretend to be Christians and they join Christianity. And they change everything. They brought in their tradition into Christianity. Now, I want to ask you a question, Brother Rogers. I know you read the Bible a lot. What did God say in uh, uh, in the Old Testament? He said, "I can never share my glory with nobody." So let's just say, uh, let's just say, uh, Christmas have a little bit. Um, uh, Christmas have a little bit of paganism. Okay, just a little bit of paganism. Do you, do you think the God we serve, the God we know, we accept to be part of something that have paganism in it? That that the foundation is pagan. God can never be second. Neither can he be third. Okay? Okay. Let us take the paganism out of the way, alright? Let's pretend say there's no paganism into Christianity. Christianity has no pagan in it, it has nothing in it. Okay? Guess what? It's still a man-made tradition. It's still a man-made feast. The God said in the book of Isaiah chapter 4. Chapter 1, from verse 12 to 15, he said, Your new moon, your appointed feast, my soul hate. God is speaking to, to this generation also. Everything in the Bible is not for Israel, it's for the whole world. Your, your new moon, your appointed feast. What is Christmas? Christmas is a appointed feast. Who appointed this feast? It was Pope Julius the first. Of Rome, he was the one that appointed Christmas. He he was the one that established Christmas. It, it was appointed by men, not God. So, which means it's a man-made tradition. 
And God said in his word, he hate man-made tradition. He said, my soul hate. You can, you, can, you can also read in the book of Amos chapter 5, where God said, ah, you worship me, you sacrifice to me, you do whatever you want to do to me, I will not listen. Why? Because your feast is abomination unto me. So, let's just say, Christmas have no paganism, but it's still a man made tradition. And God said in his war that he hate man made tradition. And God said in his war, he can never go back on his own words. So, tell me, who do you want to believe, God or man? So, you got to make a choice right now. Christian, Christian have to make a choice. Obey the Bible. Don't just obey part of the Bible and leave the part of the Bible. Obey the whole Bible. Hmm? Just obey the whole Bible. If you are a Christian and you can read your Bible and you know what's up, okay? Now, if you, if you have a little doubt, this is supposed, this is supposed solution though. You have a little doubt. All you have to do is get on your knees. Ask God. God, God is not dead. He can hear you. His arm, his arm are not shut. Okay? His, ear, his ears are not dull. He can hear you. He can see you. Just call upon him. He say, I will answer you and show you greater mighty things which thou know not. My people, I'm not making this video, you know, to make Brother Michael look bad. You know what I mean? Maybe, uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, he may not understand the meaning of Christmas, okay? Uh, he didn't do a re his research, all right? He didn't do a research. So, uh, when I pray about Christmas, all right? When I pray about Christmas, all right? I got give me two scriptures, okay? The book of Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 12, you know what I'm to 15. The, uh, and also the book of Amos, all right? And the other, and the other scriptures, okay? The, 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 uh, the, 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 uh, that's a lot of scriptures, okay? That's a lot of scriptures too. But uh, particularly about Christmas, okay? So, so God, did, God, God didn't just give me a scripture, okay? Okay, God, God put it in my heart to do my own research, physical research. So what I did was, I did a research, okay? It took me like about four or five days, you know, to do the research. I did a research, you know what I'm saying? I, w I went to the beginning of Christmas. I got to go to the beginning. How and where it gets started from. And what was the feast? The so-called Rome, first of all, Rome was the one that brought Christmas, okay? It was said Christianity, it was Rome. Rome, Roman Catholic Church, the first Pope of Rome was the one that appeared December 25th. So, so, so as I ask you a question, I say, Lord, so I know this is fake, but why December 25th? And what is happening December? So, the more I did my research, my people, the more I realized that my mind was blown. I'm t I don't, I don't sleep. Let me tell My mind was like a, like a, like a light bulb just went off. I was like, a, oh my God. Oh my God! So, so as I seen all the all, all the evidence that 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 what we are doing here, like a like a like a giving gift. Oh yeah, listen to me. Giving the giving gift, you know, cooking, um, singing, dancing, family together, blah 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 blah, blah all this stuff, right? That was the same thing they were doing. Before they changed the name to Christmas, so so when I did my investigation, I was like, oh, my mind was blown. Okay, do you know what I, I what I did was okay. What I did was um, well, I know a lot of pastors, so what I did was I let them I let them know, I let my friends know, I let my family know because 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 it's also written in the book of Ezekiel, <laughs> Ezekiel chapter thirty. Chapter 33, right? As a watchman, I'm a watchman. So if I so so I have all the evidence, right? I got scripture to back it up, and I have physical evidence to back it up that Christmas got nothing to do with Jesus Christ. So I went, I went to those pastors I know, men of God, women of God I know. I started telling them, I said, listen, listen to them. I start showing the evidence, okay? But guess what? It went this way, it came this way. Alright? It go this way, it come this way. So now it's not my job anymore. It's not my job anymore to keep Telling them all the time. They know already. They know already. And uh, guess what? God always, there's a record in heaven that I told everybody. So if you don't know nothing about Christmas, please ask questions. 
Or you go to God directly. Listen, listen, we are dead. I didn't, I didn't believe what people said about Christmas. I, I hear all oh, Christmas was so good. It's pagan, it's pagan, it's pagan. So one day I was like, you know what? Enough is enough. So let me just pray for fast for two weeks and ask God. You know, so I did my fasting. I got I got gave me two scriptures. Then then I was led by God to do my own physical research. And I did a physical research and I have um I have a lot of evidence, all right? I mean a lot of evidence. So I know a lot. Okay. I know a lot. I know a lot. So I'm not here to explain everything to you guys. So if you want physical evidence, <laughs> you can go do your own research. Okay. You, you gotta go on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sorry, Google, not YouTube. Go on Google, all right? Go on Google, all right? All right. Ask uh, this is the question I ask myself, okay? Now this is a question I ask. What is Christmas? Okay, and why December 25th? Okay. And uh, what is the history of Christmas and how it got started and by whom? You know, right? By whom it got started? So these are the, the uh, these are the questions I have before I start praying. All right, and all this and all this question was answered by God. All right. So I did my research. I saw everything. So so that not anybody can tell me right now that say Christmas is 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 Christian Christian holiday. I will not believe it. Because the evidence say otherwise. All right. And besides, God can never share his glory with anybody. That's what the Bible says. Okay. That alone proves to you that Christmas got nothing to do with God. All right. That alone proves to you that Christmas got nothing to do with God because because God does not receive glory on Christmas. Hey, am I lying? God don't, God don't receive glory on Christmas. The glory of Christmas is shared. With two people, family, four people, four deity. Let's just say four deity, okay? Number one, Santa Claus, share the same glory of Christmas with God. Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, share the same glory of Christmas with God. And God Himself share the glory with all of them. Then the last one is a Roman son, God, aka Mafra, four deity, share the same. I did three, three deity share Christmas glory with God. Hmm. Think about it. Do you think God will be part of this? <laughs> God bless you, man. I'm done. I'm done. Hey, I'm done. All right. If you want to find out what is going on, you go do your research. You go find out. Get on your knees. Ask the Holy Spirit. God will guide you. God bless. This is King Oscar. This is BTVO. Please subscribe and like, huh? See you soon. Bye.